do not compare your hair to others. What's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about faith, locks, and more. I'd like to go through some lessons that I've learned from having locks. I've been locked since about September of last year, which will be 2019. So to begin things off, I will start by telling you about my hair journey. I got my first relaxer when I was eight years old. And as I got older, I just kept relaxing my hair or braiding it. When I got to high school, I would change styles. So I would have sew-ins, I would have yarn braids when yard braids were in, I would have cornrows, anything from relaxers to shaving the back of my hair. And when I was about to graduate from undergrad, I considered getting locks and I got comb coils in my hair. At that point, I got tired of switching my hair. And over the years, I learned how to do my own hair, but I realized that I did not have enough time to do my hair. So when I tried the comb coils, it did not work out so well. I think after about two weeks of having them in, I got tired. So my hair was in these coils and I couldn't really do much with it. People refer to as the ugly face. Now I went back, combed the coil, combed the Comb, ugh, combed the coils out and decided to just continue a natural hair journey where I big chopped a few times before actually deciding to go back to trying the lock journey again. What led me to try it this time and stick with it? A few things. Number one, I got tired of saying that I did not know how to care for my hair. I think it's pretty common to find women of color who will say that their hair is hard to take care of. And as I started appreciating natural beauty, I wanted my hair to be my own hair. Um, when I would have braid styles, I'd have something similar to natural hair like Marley locks or um, I do twist outs. I experimented a lot with my natural hair. I was also a product junkie and I did not have a product junkie budget at the time because I was in college. I made a deal with myself that once I did graduate from undergrad, I would try out another set of locks. So fast forward to grad school. This seemed to be the perfect time where I wanted to start locks. And I will say that I was inspired by a lot of queens who had beautiful locks. And I love the fact that it was their own hair and they would wear it in a way that made you really appreciate natural beauty. So I started off with two strand twists. Actually, before I got married, I had clip-ins. And for my wedding, I did not want to wear weave. I wanted something that resembled the natural look. I've always appreci appreciated natural hairstyles and I wanted this to come forth in my wedding. I didn't want to have to worry about a lace shifting out of place. I didn't want to have to worry about whether my hair was slicked down as it needed to be or not. I wanted a style that would mimic my natural hair. So for my wedding, I had an afro, but they were click 4C clip-ins. Right after my wedding, I took the clip-ins out and I had my mom install two strand twists. Now, the first day I was really excited for the lock journey. And why did I pick two strand twists? Because I felt like it would last longer with my hair. When I had the comb coils before, what I remember is the back of my hair would unravel quite easily. And I wasn't prepared to constantly do repairs or constantly have my hair worked on just because it was unraveling. And I thought two strand twists were a style where it looked like a hairstyle and also I could continue my lock journey that way. So once I got the two strand twists, I wore those for a while and man oh man, when I look back at those pictures, my hair was thin, very thin. Um, my hair looks very thick when it's in an afro, but once it's braided down, it's not as thick. And I think just the excitement of wanting to have locks is really what got me through that initial phase. I would wear my hair in styles, like I'd have it pushed over to the side. I would try and do some <laughs> creative things with my hair, but my hair was not there yet. But I think I just enjoyed the fact that I had started this new journey. Something that you need to know about locks, if you are considering locks, start now. I remember contemplating whether I wanted locks or not for years and if I had started when I first started thinking about them or if I just continued with my comb coils, my hair would have been at a lot further place right now but I think everything happens in its own time. But if you are considering locks, just start it out and see what happens. Within the first uh, few months, I think for some people even up to a year, you can comb the hair out because your hair doesn't fully lock and at least for each person it locks at a different rate. But just try it out and see how you feel about it. Trust the process. 
I would look at photos of people with long locks and beautiful, what I thought were beautiful locks. And I started to look at my own hair and I didn't appreciate it. The more I looked at other people's hair, the less I would appreciate my own. And now when I look back at what my hair looked like six months ago, even a year ago, I'm like, man, oh man, have I come so far. So I would say no matter what phase you're on, trust that process and trust and enjoy the phase that you're in at that particular moment because it goes by so fast. I remember when people used to ask me what was wrong with my hair, if I was ever going to get it done and those things got to me, which goes to my next point is when you have locks, it will challenge what you think beauty is and you will gain an appreciation for your natural beauty. For all my locked kings and queens, I think this is something that we can all identify with and all agree on is that you start to develop a natural appreciation for who you are. I talked about, about my hair differently. I did not allow people to call my hair dreadlocks unless they didn't know the meaning behind it. And I started to speak about it in a positive way. And one thing I learned is when you appreciate your hair and when you talk about it in a positive way, the people around you start to do that as well. I remember in the beginning when people would ask me about my hair, I would be negative about it and say, oh, I'm just on this log journey. I really don't know where it's going to go. And I would say a lot of negative things, but I found that as when I started to appreciate the journey, appreciate my hair type, appreciate the process, I would talk about my hair and I would say things like, you know what? My hair is evolving. I'm on this log journey. I'm super excited for what it's going to be. I'm excited for the versatility. I'm excited that I don't have to put extensions in my hair, that I can wake up in my my hair is completely mine. Do not compare your hair to others. Everyone's lock journey is different. Everyone's process is different. I remember I would look Google four months twist locks, five months twist locks, four C hair twist locks. No matter how many people you look at who might have similar hair type to yours or their journey might have began the same type as yours, everyone's journey is different and it's just something you have to accept it's interesting when people reach out to me right now and ask how many months am i in and i am currently around 10 months so two more months to reaching the full year and my hair looks a lot different than a lot of people and i remember googling locked hair at 10 months and it looked nothing like my hair right now so everyone's journey is individual and really appreciate and embrace your journey you never know someone might have lock envy towards your hair and you might be thinking it's the worst through this journey i have had a challenge with really looking at what beauty is. Our hair tends to define us a lot and I couldn't lead on my hair anymore. Usually when you have a new hairstyle, I remember when I would get my hair done, boost my mood. I would be super excited to go around people, but when my hair was not looking like what I wanted it to look like, I was forced to really dig deep and think about what beauty really means to me. So when my hair wasn't looking the best, I had to find value in myself and that's something I'd like to share with everyone. No matter what journey you're on, whether it's a lock journey whether you're doing whatever else with your hair really thinking about what value do you give your hair it really shouldn't affect who you are I think when you value yourself as a person other people start to appreciate and value it and which is really what led me to start this journey to show an appreciation for black hair we hear a lot of negative things about black hair we hear a lot of negative comments and a lot of negative words used to describe it and I'm really hoping that as I go on this lock journey and gain appreciation for my journey that other people whether you're in a natural hair journey whatever journey you're on you will embrace it and gain an appreciation for it i am anti succumbing to the western standards of beauty that's just my perspective and my view and something that i'm choosing to walk in just because for ages and ages we haven't been told that black is beautiful but today i hope that as you're watching this video if you are considering locks you can feel free to follow my journey on my instagram page on altered laura or if it's a different journey that you're on i hope that you will take something from these tips.